Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the support. Let's go ahead and do Dr. T as quickly as we can. So here, it's not too bad. Um, I would just suggest to go with Rifleman Suka. It's mostly one-shot defenses. The medics are going to be able to heal the damage from the... The rocket launchers are going to be... Not the rocket launchers. The medics are going to be able to quickly heal the damage from the machine guns and the sniper towers. So there's no need to worry about any of this. You can just push straight through. Even if you're low level, guys. This, this should not be that problematic. Yeah, Nathan. Um, it just require it just requires um, it just requires practice. Um, you know, once you get used to the mechanics of the game, it's really easy to predict on how to do it. Um, now, Marines is asking if there's if I do have any tips for for RCCM for rifleman Suka and medics. Um, there are a couple of things. Look at the way. Look. Look at the way. Look at the way I um I land my troops. I often land a boat of riflemen, two boats of medics, so that they can heal the medics, the riflemen right away. Followed by my sukas. Followed by everybody else. Um. So then that's the first thing. When you smoke, try when you reflare. Try to smoke your medics so that they don't get targeted by the by the defenses and get killed. Um, always counter with your GBE what counters your troops. So if you have riflemen and medics, what counters your troops are machine gun flamethrowers, mortars, rocket launchers, shock launchers. So always try to counter those first with your GBE, be it with a shock, be it with a with G, with an artillery or a barrage. Don't worry about losing troops. A lot of people, what happens is they, they worry about saving their riflemen, which is why they don't use riflemen from the beginning. Oh, you get casualties. You lose riflemen. I don't want to lose troops. The golden standard for a lot of players is getting those flawless attacks where they don't lose a single troop. And that is good. I mean, that's a good ideal to strive for. But in general, it does not help you develop good technique, good playing um skills um because when you use tanks tanks take so much to reload compared to riflemen riflemen is a minute per rifleman and you're seeing that i got I, I lost three riflemen here i'm not waiting for them to reload if you had lost a tank you're going to be waiting for that reload to happen before you were at, to attack again therefore you end up using more power powder if you had or or, or using more more of your boost time so so yeah, don't be afraid of losing troops. Always counter the rocket launchers and shock launchers. And always look for cluster defenses, key defenses like rocket launchers, shock launchers, and mortars that are clustered that you can hit with a single shock. Thank you, thank you, Marine, for the for the uh, for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you know that I can hold your attention for, for longer and that I can produce content that you enjoy and that serves your purpose, you know, for whatever whatever that is, attacking on the high level or on the loot level. All right, so let me go ahead and destroy. Here, you know, with the good thing about the medics is that when you have, when you have your rifleman at a good level, you can just ignore rocket launchers, right? Rocket launchers just tickle you. They, do, they don't do anything really that's going to affect you. You can just go and go and go. Now, mortars are a different story. Mortars, high-level mortars, especially when they're boosted, they tend to do a lot of damage. Um, and if your riflemen are not that good, then, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. But on this account, like I said, um, my riflemen are maxed at HQ level 17. Let me, let me take a look. I haven't showed you the, their level. All right, so let me go here. Here we go. So, uh, rifleman level eighteen. That's their health. So six hundred health. A lot of damage. Sukas at level seventeen. Um, medics are level three uh, as of the moment. And then you know I'm slowly maxing up other stuff. Tanks at level four. Um, I can sure I can sure that I 
I destroyed on my max account, I destroyed the first four levels with GBE. Then the other ones, no, I couldn't. I, I had to deploy troops to do it. And then in terms of statues, let me just show you here one of my recent attack. So 36 plus damage, 48 plus health, and 48 plus GBE. I have a ton of GBE, as you can see. I started with what? 16, um, 69 total GBE, which is pretty good for this level. All right, let's go ahead and do Dr. T stage number four. Um, I have never been on the leaderboards. I mean, I'm in the U.S., so the U.S. is pretty competitive in terms of the people that are on the leaderboards. Um, that makes it really, really hard. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, but on the Maker Crap, I, I got pretty far. I want to say, I think on the U.S., I was... I don't know how far I was. I have a playlist of, of, of my Mega Crap um, gameplay um, for the last one, but... But yeah, um, never been on the leaderboards, mainly because I, I, it's so competitive. I, I think the top one guy here in the uh, in the leaderboard, both in the U.S. and, and on the world, is here in the U.S. and he has twenty six hundred victory points. That's pretty crazy, if you ask me. All right, Bilal, give me a second, and I will accept you. Are you? Did you apply to Uninet Forces or to the other one? Well, if you apply to Mungoman, I'll see it in a second. Oh, this issue had pretty a lot of of. Oh, we lost a bunch of sukas. That is why. I got four on Mega Crab, but God, it was hell. Max Troop destroyed. Yeah. Oh, you got to 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 four on your local leaderboard. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Like for example, the Chicken, which is another YouTuber that streams and produces content. Like him, him and I were about the same level. We got to about the same level. On Canada, he was on the top fifty. On the US, on the US, not not so much. Okay, Diego accepted you already, so you are on Mungoman, Bilal. Thank you, thank you. So, let's reload here. Um, I'm going to load... I'm going to reload my Sukas with diamonds. I know, I know, I, I have to put the Endless Reserve here. I just... I, I, I need to do more, so I'm not going to stop the stream to get them. But I'll, I'll get them soon, don't worry. Okay, so this one is also easy to do. We can just bypass that machine gun at all. Um, completely, sorry, is what I meant to say. So from here, it doesn't matter that, I'm going to just go ahead and flank to the top. That mortar, I didn't check the damage on that mortar, but he's focused on the critters right now. So it should not be that bad. And he could not kill a critter in one shot, so he's not going to be able to kill my, my Sukas or my Rifleman in a shot, in a single shot. I am going to clear this stuff right here, and I'm going to flare here to the top. I'm going to shock that rocket launcher just to... Prevent it from hitting me while the mortars are hitting me. Oh, there's a shock launcher. Where is it? Oh, okay. Let me just... Well, I'm not going to back out. The HQ is already done. That is true, Arong. A lot of people left. And um, I was a little bit salty about that for a little bit, you know, when, when the, the, you know, quote-unquote phone YouTubers when, you know, you, you had... A lot of people producing content that sort of left for playing Clash Clash Royale, but I say good riddance. I mean, out of that came out a lot of good people like Iron Moose, Cmod, uh, the Chicken, 
um, you know, myself, not, you know, to, to include in that group. Um, you also have Boombi Strategy, um, who also produce amazing content and he has a big following. You have the Crazy Turtle, you have Bull Cable, people that are still producing content that's relevant to most of us. So, you know, for all those guys that went searching for the money, which is, I mean, it's, it's, it's natural, right? If, if, if you're living out of YouTube and making money out of YouTube, then you have to go where the views are. Um, there's no point on staying if you're not going to be able to get, you know, to get money out if that's what you're trying to do. So just like that, we're on stage number six. I'm going to give this a try. I think I'll be able to defeat it. We have two rocket launchers um, and a shock launcher. So if I'm able to, mm, let me see. I think I think going on this way is, is going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to destroy. I'm going to go for against this, this, and that. I'm going to destroy these three rocket launchers and the shock launcher. And if I have any X spare GBE, I'll use it. If I fail, I'll fail. But this is just without thinking too much, guys. Let's go ahead and try it. See what happens. All right, so rocket launchers are gone. Shock launcher is gone. We're we're at 28 GBE. Should not be that problematic. Let's go ahead and land. Beam, bam, boom, bing, bing. Gone everybody else. Oh, no, no, no. Almost lost ever, Spark. Almost, almost, but we're okay. Let's, let's release some critters. Let's release some critters. Somebody sent a message, two messages at the same time, so I'm not going to be able to read them until I finish this. But I'll promise I'll check those comments. Uh, I'll check those comments once I come out. Oh, those mortars are deadly, guys. Those mortars are deadly. We're running out of riflemen. We're running out of riflemen. There's not a lot we can do right now. We don't have a lot of health. So let me see if I can keep those hookahs alive. It's just too much. There's too much, um, too much mortars that I, too much, too many riflemen I lost on that initial attack. So that's it. The push is over. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. And let me read. Boom, beach, okay. Tristan, so no so no Tristan, I'm I'm gonna try to get it. Jim Doe just had another graceful donation, so I'm gonna try getting it on this one. I have tried, right? So 